Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It was a great life well, out here. It was a great life. Your boy needs a haircut perpetually, but that's okay. I just got a haircut. You can't see because I'm wearing a hat, but I did in fact get one on Saturday. Well, then one of us needs a haircut. I'm not saying who it is. I'm just saying one of us. <laughs> exactly. We've been meaning to hit Funkadelic, the song Maggot Brain, for probably yeah. like two and a half years now. I've seen the song title propagate around the ANA space. Yeah, and I want you guys to know how that's much I love you, right? How much I love you, it's a lot because I got asked by a pretty cute girl to hit this song one time uh, out on a date with her asked if we could do a reaction to this song now it's been quite some time since then and we haven't hit it yet because i felt like it would be irresponsible and unloving of you guys if i hit it because it was the behest of somebody that i knew mm. so I, I borderline wanted to do it less until it felt more right you just had to wait until it organically just happened to happen mm -hmm. by the nature of you know the, just how the universe is imposing forces on us but only from the direction of the channel to us not from yeah. outside influences i didn't want like someone close to me to be able to influence it too hard do you think that that but do you think ultimately because of that fear that she ultimately did influence it that far or even a bigger magnitude but in the opposite direction of you not hitting it sooner? No, and only because okay. I have a partner in crime who mm. I let help make decisions and I know she's never going to be influencing you. That's very fair. And so I let you drive that steed until – that's not a phrase, but I'm going to use it. Drive that steed until it fucking – went to the place and, and honestly we've almost hit the song like five times at this point and every time we haven't it's because just the daytime the way that just the life was happening it wasn't the good times for a 10 minute song mm -hmm. but now i feel like it is that time yeah and we are here today it's on the calendar all right well uh super excited <laughs> dude i'm actually very excited i say that every time but now i'm like actually meaning yeah i don't think we've heard anything from funkadelic no, I, don't, no. I don't think but i've heard that band name, cool name. so many cool freaking name. times yeah hoping to get something funky let's go i hope so too let's do it <laughs> Okay. Mother Earth is pregnant for the third time. Time. For y'all have knocked her up. I have tasted the maggots in the mind of the universe. I was not offended. For I knew I had to rise above it all. Or drown in my own shit. Oof. I like how there are two waves of static.
Bro. What? Dumbfounded. That was insane. I am so emotionally disturbed by what I just experienced. Dude, lost in the sauce to the max. I don't think I've ever been more lost in the sauce. We just hit a Beatles song on Patreon, was, and I thought I was lost in the sauce then. Yeah, the song was Rain. Yeah, and it wasn't even close. It's li- it's literally not even close. Dude, 10 minutes. I definitely... Straight. I was like reliving childhood memories I forgot about. That's insane. <laughs> Seriously. No, th- this is a powerful song, dude. A straight 10-minute atmospheric psychedelic solo kind of thing. Yeah. With funky tone. Yeah, I mean, there's fuzz, there's like a delay, a lot of delay. <laughs> An interesting use of oh delay, wah, there was some good wah, like it was just, I'll be honest, man, like this is, for me, easily an S. I think so too. Like, I was hoping you were feeling the same way. Oh my God, dude, I was, I don't know why, like now I'm I'm like, I don't know why I was thinking that, I was really <laughs> so worried you weren't like, like I would have to either convince you of S or yield the A plus no. or like, you know? No. Oh, that makes me so no, fucking dude, happy. No, when I say it made me relive like childhood memories, uh, vulnerable time so i had a pretty shitty growing up period a lot of people did and i was pretty lonely because it was a lot of fighting and stuff happening in the house whatever uh either way this felt like the times when there's shit going down in your house like Mm -hmm. bad shit and you go to your room and you're alone and you're first playing guitar like exploring guitar for the first time like that's exactly what it felt like Mm. because the music like the drums and the the small pick guitar like it's, it felt like an element of violence and an en- element of calmness that were independent. They were mm. just existing independently, just sharing the same space with the guitar. Mm. And the guitar is doing its own thing, and that's like fading in and out. It's like getting yeah. higher and lower in volume. Like It felt like it was existing freely, just mm. like you're kind of like, okay, there's stuff happening outside yeah. that door, but in this door, I'm like eight playing guitar for the first time. It's like, mm. oh, man, like I'm almost playing guitar to the other stuff existing. Yeah. Yeah, like that's like background or like foundational noise. Yeah. And dude, the the fact that you could hear the percussion like so light in the right, so light, like it was around the halfway point. I was like, are they gonna build this up? Because for a second, I was hearing a little yeah. bit of snare and like hi hat, and it was like, yeah. dude, so freaking tucked in the back. And the play style remind like was very reminiscent of like you know Pink Floyd, like David Gilmour for me. Yeah, like but a lot of the stuff that I would hear from him from like Division Bell or something like that. Like, yeah, like late like, era. Yeah, like like David Gilmour's play style, like kind of like in the '90s a little mm-hmm. bit, like like. Kind of like some like stuff on like the wall ish or like the Wish You Here album ish, but like just like that like one well, almost like maroon. I never heard maroon from the. Divi- you showed Division me one Bell. time in a parking like, lot. I believe it, <laughs> <laughs> but very like a similar feeling of like like maroon like to be like isolated. Yeah, like being like closing out the rest of the world and you have mm. your own little thing like just that almost like the same like they're trying to like, communicate like the same thing. Almost. It did feel like loneliness. It legit felt like. Lo- it felt like loneliness and somehow finding a friend there, mm. which is why it equated to me to get like guitar. Mm. Because yeah. it's like, oh man, like here's something that I'm I'm sharing an expression with, almost a calm yeah. response. Like I'm feeling this way, yeah. and then the guitar is playing this thing. It feels inherently playful, like with almost like with the universe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Where it's like you're not with the person, you're only, like literally like kind of like almost like playing ping pong like with yourself. But you have an instrument, so it's like the music is kind of like like you're giving input, and the output is in all ways yeah. directly related to what you're inputting mm-hmm. but it still is something different than what you could just achieve on your own without like this tool or this yeah like, thing. it's also interesting to me that in most of my analogies like the way that i perceived this song to mm-hmm. be the acoustic guitar or like the plucked guitar and the drums were the sense of chaos in my head whereas the guitar was a sense of freedom which huh. feels the opposite when you think about it sonically yeah but i definitely felt more h- hopeful happiness from the guitar like more grounded yeah, mm-hmm. then I did from the actual seemingly more grounded, more happy, like... Yeah, well, playing. I think part of it is because one is the human experience, like, what you can, like, resonate with the most, which is the mm-hmm. guitar. It's, like, this, like, chaotic, like, ultimately chaotic, like, you know, has free will, has concept of self, you mm-hmm. know, like, is excited about that and is exploring, like, what it can do, almost. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's... It, it's you almost like just resonate with it more than like the stuff on the right, which is like order. It's like, like, like what's always like, what is there? And what's probably always been there kind of thing. Yeah. It, or, you know, if it's like you're a child, like, like the fact that, you know, you, you have a home, you know, and then you just have this setup that like completely out of your control. Like, cause you don't have like the guitarist doesn't have input on that plucking or that stuff in, in the left side of the mix. It's like, you only can control like this, like lead guitar, like this yeah. voice, but like everything else is already like, kind of like decided for you in its own way. Yeah. Getting freaking philosophical on this song. That's funkadelic, baby. This is wild. Maggot this is brain. The, one of the coolest songs. Maggot we've in a brain. Long time. This is insane. Yeah. And they just watched that. There's us just sitting here, like totally like 
lost and that's best yeah. case scenario yeah listen if you watch the end of this thing then uh not only are you an awesome true follower of the channel part of this wood shack freedom shack and you're welcome here anytime to eat peppermint candies and yep. sip on diet coke cherry definitely zero email first so do not just show up that's that would freak me out you man. can show up it's okay freak candy out <laughs> but, Either way, just fucking geez, great. This is so awesome. Make Thanks sure so you much. like the video, subscribe, do all the things, uh, tell all your friends about it. Yep. Build this thing up like uh, like the Church of Scientology, except not as bad. Ooh. Yeah, minus the cold part. Minus the cold part. <laughs> um, I mean, let's know what to hit next from Funkadelic. Because very yeah. down to circle back. If they can do this, I'm trying to hear some other stuff too. Yeah, For I mean, this, is wild. Sure. this is such a strong edge. I literally feel like I have to like calm down. Yeah. 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 Wild. So good. You've so been high on a song, dude? That's how I'm like feeling. It. That's how I'm feeling, buddy. Feeling 2.5 milligrams of high on this song. Yeah, that's, that's the fucking delic, dude. Yeah, we'll catch you guys wild. next time. Be safe. See ya. So fucking good. That was insane.